Hello, hello. Welcome back to another exciting show of uh, YOMO, a year of magical learning. If you're new here, you know, please hit the subscribe button and the, the bell that comes up. And uh, today we are on episode 85 and Chris will tell you where the geniuses are located. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, book 85 is a book called The Geography of Genius. Uh, lessons from some lessons from the most the world's most creative places by the author Eric Weiner. Um, so this is a this is another Eric Weiner book. Um, you know, one of my one of my becoming quickly becoming one of my favorite authors. Um, it, he's like a, a mixture of like travel and philosophy and um, uh, you know a little a little bit of like you know history and you know a lot of, I mean it's it's just it's a it's a really fun journey that he takes you on that he weaves it all together very nicely in a great narrative. Um, so this particular book is about. Um, uh, he, he goes we talk to, about his earlier book, right? You yeah, know, the, the geography of the geography of bliss, and bliss, I think right. I think we did the the Socrates Express, didn't we? Did we already do that? We one have not. That? We have not. Oh, okay, then uh, that that one's coming up in the future, I guess, as well. So, um, uh, but yeah, we did the geography of bliss. That was uh. That so was, now uh, it's the geography yeah. of genius. Yep. So uh, so he goes to places where where like great innovations have happened, and you know, big you know, new things have happened in this world, places like um, Athens or Silicon Valley or Renaissance Florence, um, Vienna in the 1900s, Edinburgh, um, you know, like a lot of the, uh, the, the Song Dynasty and uh, Hangzhou. Um, so he goes to like all these like different places in time mm -hmm. and, and, he, and he kind of looks at the environment and the characteristics and, and, and like how that, how that all came to be to produce what what we all know is now is like these places where this like just genius on top of genius seemed like it was coming out of there and it's like how did that happen right mm -hmm. um you know and actually we talked about this a little bit oh we did talk about this a little bit in the past with um uh uh the book from uh, uh just just kids um uh mm -hmm, by, mm -hmm. Pat, by patty smith so i said right. the geography of genius plus uh, uh loon shots equals equals just kids right because right. we talked about the geography uh, uh, of all the genius that came out of New York City and in the in, in the, uh, the 60s, 70s, you know, um, time frame and the art that was created. So it, mm -hmm. that, that book reminded me of of this. Um, right. So anyway, so it's a, it's a it's a fun read. I I loved it. Um, I thought it was like mm -hmm. a really entertaining um, journey. So I don't know. Any interest in reading it yourself? You want to you want to check out this one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. So, uh, but on to the reflection. So. Um, uh, this book really made me think about pain, trauma, and adversity is the spark that ignites genius. Um, so as Eric takes you to different place and time um, and, and talks about all the, the circumstances and confluence of events and, you know, random compound effect things that come to be that, 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 that turn, you know, Renaissance Florence into what we know it today is like, you know, this, this great place of art and and Michelangelo's and, you know, David, you know, the, uh, the Sistine Chapel, the, you know, all the, all these things that just seem like Da Vinci, all these things that just seem like they just spontaneously kind of came out of that whole entire thing. He talks mm -hmm. about all these, all these, um, uh, each one of these places, he goes through that. And, and the one thing that I kept hearing over and over and over and over again, that was the only common thread that I kept hearing. And probably cause my, my brain has that lens these days, but, um, but, uh, cause that's the perspective that I, that I've seen, but, Right. What I saw was preceding every single one of these these places where the geography in a particular location, you know, spurred on this crazy genius, you know, growth. Um, uh, all all was preceded by pain and trauma. Um, and uh, uh, for me, it made me start to think a little bit deeper around, like, you know, maybe pain and trauma is the is that spark that ignites, you know, genius in general. And and obviously, as we've talked a lot about from my own story on this on this particular journey. Um, you know, this is, this has probably been, you know, when Amelia passed away a little about two and a half years ago now, um, uh, you know, after the first initial shock, after the blast, and, you know, maybe the first like two or three months of just trying to figure out where I even was. I mean, I was just in a whole other world at that point in time. But, um, uh, you know, since then, um, I've probably had the most creative explosion that I've ever had in my entire life. I've always been a creative person and I've always liked to to, to ideate, generate new things, to try new stuff. But like, like the day-to-day -day creative output and explosion of things that have, that have come from my own pain and trauma, you know, was the lens that I kept seeing the story through of like that, that just internal drive to, to, to want to use that pain and to turn it into something 
of turn it into a purpose, turn it into something that can do something better for this world and not just sit there and die with it, you know, and, and become a waste of space. So um, hell, you and I met because of uh, um, this, 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 this journey. And I, and I don't know who else is going to be wrapped up into our, into our journey as we go, but um, you know, cause now this is our shared journey together. Um, but at the end of the day, like this is, this, the, what we're, what I'm writing about, what we're talking about every single day, this is all coming from a place of, uh, creativity and output from that creativity that, that's all that all spurns from pain you might not see it today you, you might see us having fun conversations about things like this you might see uh you know in the future 20 30 40 years down the road club and he becomes like this the thing that the vision that we all that you and i want it to be but but at the end of the day like when they see all the the, the genius that comes out of our club and members and giving people a, an ecosystem to live their purpose um, you know, they may not see that the spark that united at all was other people's pain and trauma all coming together to, to give them a place where that in an ecosystem where they can go live their purpose and, and to go create their, their meaningful work, you know? So, um, that, that's just kind of, I guess, at a high level, you know, what I, what this, this particular, um, you know, uh, uh, book made me think about in general, but, you know, I, I may be wrong. I'd love to get your thoughts on, on whether or not you feel like, you know, yeah, just on the topic in general, like the geography of genius, you know, how does, how does genius come to be? Um, you know, you know, am I, am I on the right track? I mean, do you think that that's, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah, a good, a good thought. Love to get, love to pause and get your thoughts there. So I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, when you become or somebody is a genius, that's super rare, right? I mean, it's not like, I mean, if, if, if everybody's genius, then everybody's average. Right. <laughs> Yeah, right. And yeah. so, so I think when, when somebody is a genius, it's uh, something that is, um, is not average. It is the, uh, the uh, uh, like, abnormally, right? Right. The anomaly of the average, whatever that is. That sure. means that for me, that so, so it, it makes me think that, you know, I think, and you know, I agree to a certain extent that pain and trauma and adversity is a spark of a genius. But I think that's not the real reason why you have geniuses. Um, I think because when, when you are in pain, I mean, similar to what we talked about in the past, um, when somebody immigrate to another country, right? right. It's because there's so much pain Right. that they don't, they have to look for something that is completely different. You, you risk your life sailing across the ocean and many, many dies, but you still have to go because there's no, the, the, the choice of taking that risk is better than the, the, the pain that you are suffering. Exactly. So people are going to jump, right? They're going to jump just because. I mean, you're talking about the, the slaves who escapes to the North. You're talking about the uh, you know, uh, the Vietnamese uh, running from uh, from the communists after the war ended and, and, and being chased and being captured and put into, um, you know, re-education camp and all that, right? They they go, they, they risk their lives to cross the ocean on boats that stack you, uh, you like sardines. And because that, even, even that risky is better than staying because that's the pain that you are suffering. The pain is so great that you have to do things that is not, average it's not normal right and because you do that right that means that the chance of you becoming a genius is um i guess more just because you're doing things that's not the same right you're, you're breaking them you're breaking the mold the norm like you, well, you, you jump you, out of the you're right. jumping out of of the the current average society the world that that is, exists yeah. today your, your so paradigm is gone like your paradigm exactly. has been blown up, right? Like so, I mean, so, yeah. so you are approaching from from a perspective that most people are not going to be there, right? But, your perspective is completely different, and sometimes you very unique. But at the same time, I'm saying is pain and drama is the cause for you to jump, but that doesn't necessarily create a genius because there are millions sustain. of millions sure. of yeah. pain and drama and adversity. That's true. But yeah. how many geniuses comes out of there? So to me. The, the, the fact of getting out of the average, of the norm, of the common, right? The commonality, you have a much better chance to become a genius, but that determines what you do after that, not just having a pain, adversity, and trauma, right? So to me, there's more pain and drama, but there's so few geniuses. So 
um, pain and drama does not always, um, you know, spark the, oh, the genius. It's just it's just one of the ingredients. I agree. You have to have the pain for you to do something that's not what you used to. Because right now, what we do, what we have today, right? Our life is going to be pretty much the same. You and I probably do the same thing. It's we don't do anything different because nothing uh, forces us to do that, right? And so for me, in terms of the geniuses, that is you, you have to jump out of the originality, right? You, don't, you want to jump out of the ordinary to become other than ordinary, whether you call it extraordinary or whatever you want to call it. It's not right. ordinary. And then once you have somebody who has... Uh, sparks like creativity and able to create a genius, then for me, the second, um, I guess the second variable, the second ingredient in this is you attract other yes. quote unquote like-minded yeah. people. You gotta build and, an ecosystem. Right, yeah. just yeah. just like when, when we're talking about like, um, you know how yeah, the, somebody was, a, able to, was able to run like a, a, a under a four minute mile, right? right? Because once somebody achieved it, then other people have to believe Right. And they were able to say, yeah, if he can do it, that means that's possible. Right. Therefore, I can do it too. So they're going to train and then become, you know, under, they, they break the world record again. So to me, like the geography of genius is that, you know, if, if that particular, I guess, era or locations or country or social normal, whatever caused the pain, somebody jumped out and happened to figure out the, the right configurations the right formula to spark a genius. And once it sparked a genius, it, uh, it attracts other smart genius people as well to become right. the Silicon Valley, the Athens, the Florence, and you know, the Song Dynasty and, and, and all that. And I think that's the multi part that, I, that you know, it goes through my mind when I'm thinking about how does, how does genius form? Genius is you know, having at least, at least three separate ingredient that I know of. I, it could be more, right? They probably love more, but oh, at least sure. three that you have to have to have that because genius is super, super rare. I, I agree. I mean, it, it's, I like to think of like the, the, my thought, my initial, my thought is around the pain and trauma is, um, you know, that's like the match that lights the, that lights the tender, you know, that lights the, that lights right. the, it lights the, the tender, the, but the, it, lights it, the spark, it, right? Like, but, you know, but you needed that for the rest to happen. So that is a crucial ingredient. So I agree with that. Right. Because and at the same time, when you, when you, when the, when you light the match and the Tinder is, is uh, you know, it's start to, to uh, light up, but it could fail. It could just right. die out. Right. Right. So well, yeah. So, what, or, or not just die out. Like it could kill you. I mean, you could just sit in the, in the fire and, and die, or it could catapult you forward into a different way, you know, but that, right. that's what you're saying that there's this, I don't know why somebody turns their pain into a purpose versus turning their pain into death. I don't know the answer to that. I, I mean, I know for me that my answer is because Amelia was that special to me that, that mm -hmm. I had no choice. In but my one, mind. one like, thing for sure, though, is that anyone who has pain and drama and adversity will have a unique perspective. They will be more exactly. creative than they would be. I agree with that 100%. Exactly. Right. They're, they're, Whether they're it become a genius, that... it, be, it, it, it needs to have other ingredients as well. But uh -huh. one thing for sure is that every single one that has pain and drama will have a unique perspective that is no one would be able to have. And that insight is going to give them the ability to have a, a, a much better art of, of getting to the genius, um, you know, whatever that, uh, that target is. Because, well, genius can't ever come unless the paradigm shifts. And, 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 and right. I don't know like I how, say, you know, I it's ordinary. Yeah. You have to be right. not ordinary, whether you right. call it extraordinary or under ordinary, or whatever you want to call right. it. You have to be not ordinary to, to even have a chance at it. Exactly. And, and, and the only surefire way that I know that you can generate a paradigm shift out of thin air is through adversity. Um, I mean, it's just, or, you know, you, you just, you just so, see the world differently after, after, after you see what's really possible. Like it's the thousand day Turkey, you know, a thousand and first right. day Turkey. It's like, like once you're the thousand and first day Turkey, you're like, shit, all these other turkeys that I'm looking down the row. You're like, you guys don't even know, like, you know, like this, like we gotta, we gotta, you know, let's, let's all band together and go do something while we have, well, I mean, we got a thousand days guys. Like we gotta, yeah. we gotta do some shit, you know? Right. Um, uh, and, and life, life is life 
you know, it might seem great. Okay. You know, it, it, you're wasting your time. Like we got, we gotta, we gotta get to work. You know, we got, right. we have things to do, you know, uh, and maybe that Turkey house, you know, whatever that one Turkey that survived and, and, and went back and told all the other turkeys, like, it was like, Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Like we're going to die in a thousand and one days. Yeah. And you're, yeah. they're going to be like, well, gobble, gobble, gobble. Like, let's get to work, you know, like, um, yeah. you know, and I mean, it's a, so, so like, then the the dynamics of randomness start to come into play right that's what we're trying to do in in Clevany, right is to take a bring together a bunch of people that have had their paradigms shifted to say okay there's got to be a better way here and then the randomness that results from that of of like we all need to, we only have a limited amount of time and we need to do what we want to do in this world and produce meaningful work that matters to us and to whatever reason that 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 came from you know to, that aligns to our purpose and then the randomness will take effect from there as to as to if society and history sees this is a genius event or not i have no idea and you, you and i have no idea we'll never probably know to be honest with you i mean right but the thing is, is if you stay if you stay in the ordinary the chance is zero the chance yes exactly yeah i mean it's it is zero it is there's there is zero chance yeah you're right like the, right because it, yeah. like i say i mean you back to what i'm saying is everybody if, if everybody's a genius then it's going to be average there's not a genius genius is super right. rare that's my definition so it has right. to be out of the the ordinary or the pan or whatever you want to call it but that's what i'm saying is you know the people who has the the the, the pain and adversity and the trauma they have to resort to something that is not average Correct. and that give them a leap into in terms of the probability of uh, stumble upon um, genius because their perspective is completely different now. Whether they make it or not, you know that's that's you know has to be right. determined. Right. But you know at least they are better. They have a, a, a positive chance of becoming a genius. And to me, so you know the question would be, do I have to have adversity to even have? this chance of becoming a genius. I say, no, there's a shortcut. Because you think about a turkey, right? Yeah. If a turkey sees another turkey get chopped off a thousand in one day, right? right. That turkey is traumatized. Yeah. And that yeah. turkey is gonna try to tell his, his friends, his family, right? His friends, his family is going to say, ah, you, you're crazy or you're, right. or you're dreaming and all that. So to me, the, the, the shortcut is find somebody who has uh, overcome Believe. adversity right, right, and yeah. trauma and pain and listen to them because yeah. they will influence you and they will, they will change the way that you think, right? Agreed. And like I say, that's better than nothing. But Agreed. you don't need to have to go through adversity because you think about it. If you come across somebody who has like went, like uh, gone through war or the Marine or whatever, do you think that person's afraid of anything? You think a person who overcome cancer is going to afraid of anything? Right, they could be. They could be, but like that. Once what do you again, think we don't somebody know, we don't know. who have beat cancer and and is is on this mission to do whatever? Right. How can you stop them? The only way you stop that that person from doing what they want to do after they conquer something big, right? It is actually is to to kill them, to take them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you think yeah. about a person who has adversity, they have a different perspective. Right. Whether they're right or wrong, right? It is to determine, but at least they have a much, much better chance than being average. So for me, is find the people who have the adversity, who have overcome them, right? And, and you know, join into that circle and <laughs> right, see yeah. if, if the right. influence is going to right. give you any, you know, any change in, in your thought. Because in order for you to have, like, just, I mean, just but go back to what I'm, I'm saying in terms of the geography of, uh, geography of genius. It's like if one become one becomes a genius, he or she will attract other similar minded people or, or people that say, okay, I didn't think about it before, but now that I see that you, you, your perspective, I do think it looks logical. It looks, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I can see it now, but right. until then I would never have thought about it. It never occurred to me. Agreed. Um, I, I want to make one important caveat or two important caveats what you just said because i agree with everything you just said except for um uh some terminology that you know always be impeccable with your words right you know i i am by no means saying that you and i are geniuses in any way shape or form genius is what comes out of the ecosystem the end product that that, that will come out of the ecosystem that we're trying to build we're trying to build 
a place that can support and foster genius that that that, that comes from that not not pain and trauma makes you a genius or something like that genius is is you can't there i don't i don't know where that ever i i don't even care genius is a label that we give to people like you know you can be a like it's i mean um, genius to it, me is, is something that uh, somebody does that is uh creative. other people marvel you know at, you know that, yeah, yes creative. exactly yeah, right right creative I mean, it yeah, doesn't right, have like, to be a person and say yeah. hey you know whatever you build that bridge that's genius i mean that's right. a spark of genius just that moment in time that person doesn't have to be a genius it's just hey that moment in time when you think of that that particular concept that's a genius right yes the meaningful something... work the output is genius yes. not 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 the people ever like there's i mean like it's not you, you and i are not geniuses like i mean maybe the I output mean, of what you comes and i our, both know we know work. shit we don't know shit. Right, right, exactly <laughs> exactly um so uh so that that's that's an important caveat um and then the second caveat is and I, I feel like a broken record here because I say this, I, I don't know how many times I've said this to you, but like, um, uh, you can never forget, uh, at least me, I will never forget. Like it might, no matter how adjusted you might think of me or, you know, happy living a purpose-driven life, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, doing, producing meaningful work, like all these things do bring me joy. Like, don't get me wrong. They bring me joy, but like they were built on, just unfathomable pain that I would give up in a heartbeat. Like I would, I, I would give up all the meaningful work like that, that ever I produced for the rest of my life to have a chance to spend some time with my daughter again, um, mm -hmm. you know, just for, just for an hour or something like that. I don't even know, you know? Um, so like this, this goes back to those conversations you and I always have about, about like these, um, you know, uh, thought leaders and whatnot. They're like, turn your pain into, into 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 gain into action into you know purpose pay, you know uh, purpose or pain always leaves a purpose and yada 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 like and like, go look for that, pain <laughs> right go yeah go go run find pain no that is not what we are trying to say here like I don't think anybody don't, wanted Athens yeah. to 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 go to war and kill half of their family or whatever you know and and fight and fight and fight to finally come to peace and prosperity where genius could 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 prosper that, um, and that's, you know, that's like, exactly like, why i say you know do you need to have pain to uh, to kind of be in that uh circles of genius don't all you have to do the shortcut is go find somebody like give them give them, give them a a considerations to listen to them and see if it makes sense to you because they right. could change your perspective right that's the fresh perspective that you want because everybody else is going to tell you the same blah 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 old story Right? right. Only the guy that go through that adversity will have a new perspective. Right. L you right. know, give then your ear to that guy or girl, you know, uh, and, and see what happens. I'm not saying that they always have you know, the good perspectives, but at least right. they have a different perspective. Yeah. Go listen right? and learn. I mean, that's, no, it's just don't, point. like <laughs> I said, you know, don't I, I don't want people to go looking for pain and drama and all whatever. I think that's just, you know, um, kind of dumb well, but <laughs> it's, it's funny it's funny you mention that because like you know 90 i feel like 90 percent of the stories that i read and the books that i that i write reflections about are me listening to other people's pain and trauma that they went through i, I just bought a book um yesterday uh called running for my life it's sitting on the desk next to me it's about mm -hmm. about work done you know who work done is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the yeah the rental running back so right like talk about pain and trauma like the the as he was graduating high school he, um, his, his mom was a cop and she had a single mother and she, um, she got shot. She, she, uh, I don't know the whole story yet. I just know the, the high levels of it. Cause I got a written mm -hmm. book, but, um, the, uh, um, she was like working the side job to make extra money to pay for their family. And, uh, right. and as a security officer and she got shot, like, you know, and died. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, he was left as he was getting ready to enroll in Florida state, you know, um, uh, with, not having a mother and you know basically being responsible for his five younger siblings you know it's the oldest person so he moved him all to florida state you know anyway like that the rest of his life is you know that was the cat that that was that was the catalyst event that drove everything I, I mean i'm curious to read about the story but anyway the reason i i i want to learn more about him i want to hear what he has to say to mm -hmm. your point of what you're saying like you can hear these stories all you have to do is look like like that's what I'm doing, you know. That's yes. what I've been doing this entire time. You gotta keep an open, is, is, open right. mind, right? Don't shut right. down just because they're different. Right. It's it, and the best part about books is 
you know, it's really hard to go find work done. Like work done doesn't re- live in my circle, you know, like, like mm-hmm. work done, I'll never have access to work done and to hear his story. Right. You know, right. or like Drew, Drew Brees. I remember hearing about Drew Brees' story as a kid. Like he had like a crazy mom or something like that. I don't want to speculate because I don't really know this whole story, but I know there was some like pain and trauma that drove him as a youngster. That was like some crazy life that, that, you know, that he, that I think that he endured, you know, that I I'm pretty sure probably, if I had to guess, was a big catalyst and drivers to what he came today. He hasn't written his own autobiography, but I can't wait for the day that that comes out when they talks about why did, how did Drew Brees become Drew Brees? Like, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know the answer, but I want to know, you know, as a matter right. of fact, I was, I was actually just literally, that was my reflection this morning. Um, I just finished this book on, on Shakespeare by, uh, by Bill Bryson. And um, mm-hmm. uh, I don't want to spoil the reflection because we'll talk about it in the future, but, but bottom line is we don't know anything about Shakespeare. Like, like all we know is his meaningful work. We don't know anything about the guy. Like we don't know yeah. anything. I mean, about that's the thing. Story, I mean, that's you know? the thing. Like, you only hear the things that is, you know, it's just like when you, when you light the fireworks, you only see the, the boom, right? You don't see the, everything else that goes behind how to make that right. boom in the sky. Right. Exactly. I mean, all the like, work like takes days and whatever, and all the, all the effort for that, for that one or two seconds of boom in the sky. Exactly. And like the, the whole point is, is it's not about the meaningful, it's not about the, the genius that everybody else sees, the meaningful work that the rest of the world goes, oh, wow, that was that, the, the David, you know, that comes out of Renaissance Florence. Like, mm-hmm. like it was about, it was about people living their purpose and, and doing for whatever reason, the, the why behind all that stuff, right? You know, like that's, that's where real genius comes from. And that only happens, I think, personally, by pain and trauma sparking something. And, and driving you to go people like so myself I think, and yourself. I think it's about the drive, know? about right. the drive, because to, to become a genius, you need to have a lot of work involved. And in right. order to have the work, you need to have something that's going to power you, right? Because right. pain is a very, it's like, to me, it's like, also like, a, like a nuclear power plant, right? It has so much potential, so much energy for you to use. If you don't have that, you get exhausted before anything becomes to... Uh, you know, the reality, just because, right. you know, you don't have, you, you, you don't, you just couldn't turn the corner to, to find right. the, the success that, that you, you wanted or whatever the case. And so the pain and drama is essentially the, the driver behind these things. Because like I said, you know, you have to be able to look from an, an, an unordinary perspective. And then from there, it requires a lot of work. Right. Right, it requires you know all these random things that come into the the, the scene, and whether or not it, it combines to become the genius, uh, whatever uh, we want to call that, you know it's it's required a lot a lot of iterations, and that iteration requires power, it requires energy, right. and so without the motivations to continue, you're gonna quit short short of your your goal. Yeah, well, willpower so, cannot power genius like uh, it, it that's that will not happen will willpower alone will never be the source i think willpower is overrated because people people think right. willpower is, is so powerful but willpower is only lasts you a day a couple of days right eventually you get exhausted and you can't continue to to do it and right. so willpower is, is short term it's like hey you know i'm going to uh, withstand this pressure for a minute or two or a day or two or a week or two but other than that, eventually it's going to exhaust out and you're going to have to, to give in. So no one has ever used willpower to overcome anything. I don't care if you're, you know, Dalai Lama, right? If you want to go the hunger strike, right? You can do for a month, but you can't do forever, right? Right? It's yeah. short term. Yes. Yes. Right. For him. Right. Yeah. I'm saying he, he's much, much better than me. I can't do it. I can't go uh, fasting for a month. He could. I couldn't. Right. But he's much better than me. But I, but at the point still stands, is that willpower can only go so far, and then eventually it's gonna be completely depleted, and you gotta to go back. Yep, I agree, hundred percent. Like, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, it's like a short term, you know, like it's almost like a video game, and you take one of those like little boosters or something like that. Like, yeah. but then it, then it peters out, right? Like. Like yeah, it's not, it's like, it's not it, a sustainable source of energy. Um, it's uh, not, it's not yeah, because yeah. it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's always going to get depleted and depending on, uh, I guess the person, you know, the volume of the willpower may be varies from person to person, but it doesn't last. And so yeah. you can't rely on willpower 
to change the way that you think, you change the way that you do things, right? You think a spark of genius or whatever, it's going to take you 30 days? No, it's a lifetime. I mean, it's, 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 it's literally, I mean, it's, it's taking it's a, years. It's, it's your lifetime. It's a lifetime. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, a long time. So uh, right, how, yeah. how can you have something that, that will take you further than just, you know, a short term willpower can get you. So willpower is, is overrated in terms of how people um, think of it. I mean, I'm not saying willpower isn't uh, useful. I'm saying, yes, it does, but it has its place. It has its purpose. Only, only break when necessary, kind of thing. You know, <laughs> like, like it's, it's like a, it, it's a, it's the epinephrine shot into your heart. You know, when you, mm-hmm. when you, when you, when you, when you're, when you're on flatlining. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so, um, final question for you before we wrap this one up. Um, one of the things we haven't really touched on is the actual geography portion of all this stuff. Do you think that you have to be? in a particular location, time, and place for genius to unfold or? I think it's a factor because uh, there's a lot of geniuses coming out of uh, Germany, okay? Uh, the Jews right, right now? Are very, oh, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. The Jews are very smart, yeah. right? Because of the way they, 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 they behave in the a lot of they pain. become, right? right. And then it depends on, like, for example, right now we have a lot of uh, geniuses in uh, America, right? America has a lot of geniuses, and these geniuses aren't like native to, to the country. They sure. are immigrants because, because the thing is they, are, they, they have pain and suffering, and they know that America will accept them, right? right? And so they jump over. They come yep. here, right? And then when they come here, they attract other people. Yep. Right. So to me, yes, it plays a factor, but the factor is in what you think. I agree. That's a, that's a good, that's a, that's a really interesting point. Um, it just made me think of, you know, what you and I are doing, like eventually this will attract other people. I mean, it has, it's, it's attracted people already, you know, like, I mean, it's, and, and we'll continue to attract people to this stuff, not because we're, we're trying to, but I think that people will see a place that, and know that we're, we're truly from our hearts saying we want to help people to, to live their purpose and to live a, produce meaningful work and live a life of meaningful relationships as well you know like mm-hmm. and we want to and we want to we, we will we are willing to do whatever needs to be done to give people the opportunity to do so and we're sharing our thoughts in this whole entire journey together and we're you know we're, we're we're taking the time to to thoughtfully put this together to show to the world that this is this is what's this is, this is this is what our pain and trauma has, is is this is our beautiful question this is our meaningful work that we're trying to produce like do you want to do does this sound interesting to you and if it does like join join them join the mission you know like and uh and, and let's have let's, let's all live a balanced life together filled with meaningful work and meaningful relationships and you know see what randomness comes of that you know um uh but but yeah i, I agree with you just it, what you were saying really hit home of like immigrants coming to another place where they're like this is my home this is a place where i can go right and, and live my pain and share my and, and live out my purpose that i want to go live you know, the, right. the but you imagine that pain. if America doesn't welcome immigrants, would geniuses be uh, gathered here? They no, they'd go, they'd go, they'd go where they were welcome. You know, they, yes. would, they would go, they would yes. go where they felt, you know, that, so that's that been nice people wanted mean, to listen. Yes. So that means that, you know, it's going to track, you know, like-minded, like characteristic and personality. Right. Agreed. So geography does have a little bit of a factor. Um, it, it's maybe. one of the, it's one of the ingredients. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we don't know anything. So, uh, uh, awesome. Uh, well, any other final thoughts um, or you co- feel good with wrapping up for the day? So I want to reiterate what I said before. There is a shortcut. Means that just give, you know, your time, a little bit of your time, be open-minded to the people who have gone through adversity and have conquered it. They right. will be a godsend for you. What, read a book. <laughs> I mean, like, like it's a, like, listen to a story, watch a movie about, yes, you know, yes, yeah. and yes, and no, because you have to have to understand that you have to pick the books that is correctly, <laughs> right? You can't just pick any books and say, hey, I'm the expert of this, I'm, I'm the guru of that. And, you know, right. Most books aren't on that. So, I mean, I just want to make that disclaimer. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair. That's a, all right. We, we can dive into that in the future, but um, it's, it's an interesting point, but, but I, I, I have my own thoughts to that, but we'll, we'll save it for the future here. But uh, yeah, right. so the, the, the question we can leave with anybody still tuning in with us is uh, 
you know, how can you find others searching for answers to questions like yours, you know, um, yeah. and if you're searching for, uh, you know, if, you're, if your pain has caused you to want to go, you know, search for balance and, and, um, and join in a community of other people like you um, to go, you know, figure out how you can turn that pain into, into, into some sort of a purpose in art, you know, um, and produce a meaningful work out there, like, let us know. Uh, we're always available and we're here to listen. And um, yeah, we can't wait to work with you. So um, yeah, and give us some likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, uh, we'll have a good one. We'll talk to you tomorrow.